Hickok 45, and I'm with one of my friends, <laughs> my old model 92, chambered in 357 Magnum. Okay, we're gonna do a range two video with it. We've done a chapter two, we've not done a range two over here and shot at some of these little guys over here on the other hill. And uh, I just thought we would try it out over here. Now, I was kind of running short on uh, ammo, the uh, 357 uh, American Eagle, and so what I'm gonna be shooting is some of this 180 grain. Uh, you know, federal. It's 357 Magnum, of course, 180 grain ammo. So that's what I'm shooting. I think I'll have to dig into that box. I've got some in my pocket here. So a little heavier bullets, which actually would be appropriate for trying to knock down, you know, this thick, these little thick steel targets or whatever you're doing, silhouette shooting or hunting, whatever. Okay. Now the only problem is the gun, as you know, I'll, I'll try to remember to link, remind me if I don't, uh, to the earlier videos. And, uh, it doesn't shoot well. It doesn't operate very well. It's kind of a piece of, you know what, because it's a hundred years old, you can't expect it to work. So any missing, that's my excuse. It's not the weather. Actually, we've got good lighting today. I can't blame it on lighting. Uh, and it's nice temperature. So I can't blame it on any of that today. I'm just gonna blame it on this gun. It's too old like me. Okay, well, let's just take some shots. And I will show you how horrible it is uh, I probably will actually holds 11 in the magazine okay at least of these rounds so and typical chapter or in uh, range two fashion let's start out on that red swinger over there <sighs> if we can't hit it might as well quit all right at least i got that <laughs> all right should we start on the right should we start missing on the right or start missing on the left i think i'm in the mood to start missing on the left okay <sighs> get a good footing it's kind of small over there oh, oh, oh. wow i got off a little bit before i meant to so it was probably low All right, I don't mind missing, but I want it to, I want it to be a miss, at least in the vicinity. <sighs> at least uh, what I think is a pretty good trigger pull. All right, the next one. Oh, nice. I might just keep this thing, old or not. Okay, this old baby's hanging in there so far. Okay. All right, pressure's on. Oh, I think I went high. Okay, relax. I'm gonna pop a couple more in while I'm resting. Pop it off. It's a nice thing about a loading gate. You can top it off if you're in combat or if you're not in combat or if you're in pseudo combat, semi combat with two liters and steel targets that's uh describes most of my combat to date and uh the little loading gate allows you to do that just pop a few in there and you're still ready to fire at any time if i got a two liter coming at me all of a sudden i can just raise it up and shoot okay <sighs> okay I think one of those went high and one went low. Let's see if we can put one right on it. Oh, all right. 
glass is trying to fog up. I do have a third excuse or second <laughs> excuse. All right, I'll go for the, uh, the small one on the right. Unless I hit the one on the left. There we go. So you want to leave yourselves an out. See? If I had hit the one on the left, I'd say, yeah, that's, that's the one I was shooting at. <laughs> Honesty is always the best policy. All right. Which may miss the biggest one over there. I knew I was going to do it. I just felt like it. Uh oh, there we go. Yeah, that felt good. Okay. <laughs> Hundred years old, who cares, right? Still works. Let's try that two liter down there. There's a little cinder left down there. <laughs> and let's shoot the old uh, shoot some steel target. That's got the center that, and I probably won't hit the center, but that's what it's designed for. Well, I don't know if it did or not. Let's shoot it again. I got him somewhere. Anyway, we appreciate shoot some steel furnishing that. And uh, let's go back up there and shoot the red plate to wrap it up over there. Boom. We got another one. We might as well put him on the gong over there. Even though I should be able to hit him in my sleep, right? Let's hit him again. <laughs> I wanted to empty it so I could reload just a couple for these guys right here. So yeah, even though it's a hundred years old, I think it's a keeper, don't you? Boy, you talk about a firearm with character. This thing has character. Yeah, the sight's been turned around for who knows why. I actually get a pretty good sight picture with it. So maybe it was an old guy with bad eyes or something because it uh, doesn't hurt as far as sighting it. You've seen me struggle over here on these targets with, uh, whatever uh, firearms at, at times and a lot of it is not just trigger control and holding steady uh, sometimes it's just the sights are not really clear and uh, when I'm using you know metallic sights but I have no problem with the sight picture on these generally and uh, so that and the fact it's been reboard to 357 instead of 3220 or whatever it started out as you know it's uh it has been messed with a little bit, but I really like it. And, and actually, I like it for those reasons. Okay, enough talk. Uh-oh. <laughs> enough talk. Let's do some missing, right? Why, why did I load so many in there? Okay, that means I've got to shoot them. Got one more. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, if you don't like this firearm, you uh, must not be a gun nut, okay? Because uh, even though it's old and it's a lever gun, it is just cool. It is so cool. Octagonal barrel. Uh, and that is the original barrel uh, based on the markings and proof marks and everything. It appears it's just been rebored. For the 357 so uh you know so what you're looking at is pretty much the way it came except for some sight movement there and that kind of thing 1917 okay and i've pointed that out before with this firearm i think we headed out once earlier this year and even my relatives in kentucky have figured out that this firearm is 100 years old they all wrote me letters and said they had done the math and it's 100 years old this year so i agreed with them made them feel really good about that about their calculations and their mathematics skills but the model 92 is uh 
if you don't know anything about lever guns, you've just gotten into guns, you just discovered our videos, uh, you know, look back through some of the lever guns, uh, study guns of the old west, and even though 92 is 1892, it's not necessarily the old, old west, right? But uh, these, these are just gorgeous rifles. This and the model 94 Winchester are the two most prevalent firearms you will see in a western movie. You'll see a few 1873s, but if you watch western movies, it'll be this rifle. You notice the, uh, you can kind of tell if you look at a 94 uh, loading gate, look at the 92, the screws there and, uh, and everything, a little short uh, loading gate. Uh, usually they'll, they'll give you a look at it where you can see the receiver pretty well in the loading gate most of the time on that side, of course. And you can tell it's a Model 92 uh, or Model 94, okay? In the movie, it's supposedly set in 1870 or something, or 1880, so go figure. But anyway, great rifle, and uh, it, it's uh, been a great day bringing it out again. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciate the, uh, the beauty of this thing, even though it's not in perfect shape. Still, it's a beautiful thing. Appreciate you coming out, appreciating you, supporting the people that support us. Life is good.